Hello all shop fans and Supernatural fans. Uh, update on the shop. I didn't get uh, a video made last week uh, because I left town because, or didn't leave town. I left down at the shop um, because Friday was my 50th birthday and I went to spend it with uh, my family. And so there was no video last week. So this week's video, uh, I want to talk about some things that are going on. So we have the England car here. Um, it's been painted and now it's been like, it's totally been like sanded back down uh, to get like all the little flaws out and stuff. Um, as, as I've mentioned a million times, to get these big, big cars in that shiny black, you can't have any waves, ripples. I mean, it'll, that paint will show up on these big cars. So everything's got to be perfect and it's a, uh, a long, long process to get them right. But uh, since last time it was up on the lift, um, this is the 454 GM crate engine in it. Uh, it has the powder, or they're not powder coated, uh, they are ceramic coated exhaust manifolds, stock exhaust manifolds. And they have all been done and now they are installed. I think in my last video, this set here was all rusty and stuff. So there they are, been installed. Um, so this thing's coming along actually pretty fast and we will be uh, still working on it. Today they had to, uh, we'll come over here and you'll notice the Chevelle that used to be green that was on the rotisserie, which is right there. Uh, the car is now is silver and it's going on its powder coated frame. There's going to be a 383 stroker in this one. Uh, but our local guy, he was kind of wanting to get some paint on this. And uh, so it's this, it's this top coat uh, or uh, the first coat of paint on it. And uh, so that way they can get it bolted to the chassis and start getting things all done. But the guy had the rear end tore apart. And now we're having trouble finding pieces for it. And because the guy used to just take things apart and then just lose stuff. And so this kind of makes our job or a little bit more difficult because of that. But the car's gonna look really cool. It's gonna have a uh, black vinyl top put on it and then it's gonna have the black SS stripes. And then of course the interior will be black. So this is gonna be a really cool Chevelle, very cool. So um, like I said, England's car is we putting things together on it, um, getting all the brackets and all that stuff put on. And then uh, our pickup here, it is done um, till we get the bed for it. And he is supposed to bring up the bed uh, here anytime now. So then they'll get the bed on all squared away and painted. Uh, I'm not sure what Don did to get everything squared up, but they got it, everything squared up. I know he kind of cussed and stuff, but uh, sometimes that just happens when other people work on stuff and then they bring it to you to try to fix it. So, but the pickup is done and Mike got all the wiring done in it and uh, it's actually looking really, really cool. I think they just put the seat in today. Let me see. Yep, there's the uh, seat in it and this is what it's looking like on the inside for right now. It's gonna be uh, a really, really cool truck uh, considering this thing was a mud truck. This thing spent a good proportion of its life as a mud running truck. Um, so to see it come back is pretty cool. Um, Don brought his Camaro up to do a little bit of work to it. But uh, so there's the England car. Like I said, uh, we have most of the parts here, like the carburetor and everything. Uh, we'll be putting all that stuff back on, but uh, we can't wait to hear this one go and stuff. So um, then I'm gonna come over here to our California car. I just call this one Cali. I don't even know the proper name for it. But um, the front clip is being installed. Um, Rod has ordered a uh, new battery tray and brackets for the, the washer fluid and all that stuff and jug and so that way it's all going to be brand new. Uh, we're waiting on the um, fan to come in, the flex fan. 
So, and then we'll start tying all this up together. Now, we noticed the other day when we put on Rod's brand new radiator, and these are the radiators that we use on all of our builds, and it's different. They, they've changed it, and now it has a more of a stock. Look where this meets it coming out. See how that is uh, dented down there? So that's really cool. Uh, I, I really like that. Um, like I said, Rod's engine's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be 100% uh, screen accurate, uh, but Rod was fine with that. It was just kind of the way the new engine builder built it and stuff. So it is what it is, but it looks really good. And so it's not like, oh, that's, it's gonna have very, very, very close on the, the characteristics of the car. Um, I mean, it's the same intake, same uh, air cleaner, you know, valve covers are a little bit different. Um, and then it's not gonna have an HEI and, and, and everything's gonna be MSD. So there's the MSD system there coming over to the coil and, and there's the distributor back there. So we put on the correct uh, power booster to match Hero 1. Um, like I said, when this thing's all said and done, there's probably not going to be too many people out there that ever catch it. Uh, they're going to see the red engine with the chrome on it and uh, so, or build an aluminum. Uh, so the, it'll be a um, something that really no one ever probably catches. Uh, the next thing that's been done, the steering column has been installed. That is a tilt steering column. Uh, Rod wanted to go with tilt, which I highly suggest. It makes just getting, I'm not a real big man, uh, but it does make getting in and out of the car a lot easier. And then you'll notice, let me see if I can zoom in here. Right there, uh, gauges. We, we highly suggest, even though the original car does not have gauges on it, you know, Warner Brothers, I always say, can afford to, oh, we blew an engine and we lost oil pressure or something. Warner Brothers has more money than all of us, and uh, it's, it's very, 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 very wise to put gauges in the car. Now, on the one of the cars that we built a long time ago, uh, I think like two years ago, uh, Kevin Zimmerman's car, Francis, Kevin put gauges in it, and then he did something where they flip up. So... I haven't talked to Kevin on that and see how that's been working out for him. But that way you can, uh, if, you know, if you're at a show or something, you can flip them back and they can't be seen. And then when you're going to drive it, you flip them down. So a very cool idea. I don't know how that came about, but uh, I need to talk to Kevin on that. So um, the car has, we just found out when we were starting to install stuff that the trim the dash trim let me zoom in right here that trim right there uh this was a caprice and so we had the wood trim and we went to put it and we're like oh crap thank god i had a set so <laughs> we we're, we saved ourselves uh, and that's why a lot of people ask me if i'd sell stuff and i go nah, i never know what i'm going to need and that's one of the things that just came and saved us and everything so um very soon here the floor will kind of get sanded um, because there's surface rust on it from the pad and stuff. And it's not bad. I mean, it's just surface rust. But I'm going to take all that down, and then we're going to put in um, the sound deadener insulation and also up in the roof, which will all clean and stuff. So that will all be done. And then um, we are – we have to do, – do, 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 the panels or the the trim the side moldings we still have to drill the holes for that because like i said this was a capri so we're going to uh, make it into an impala so all the holes were welded up and we'll move that trim up with the impala trim uh rod's already found all that so i'll kind of briefly talk about the back i'm not going to show because i'm in the process and i don't like to show things too much but in here is the weapons box it's been made and uh, right now I've cut all the steel and it's all put in and now I need to go in and weld it up. And then I've already got the floor, the back floor made. I've got my side pieces made. And then for back here, I've already got my carpet all cut out. And so uh, this will all be coming together here very soon. And, uh, but I went and got my steel yesterday Got it all cut out, drilled, everything. So this, these weapons boxes, as I've said, 
uh, 100 times, they are a lot of work. So that is what's been going on with uh, Cali here, and it's, it's coming quick. I mean, it really, really is. Uh, like I said, we'll get the fan on, we'll get the belts on, hoses, and start buttoning everything up. One thing I, I totally, there's little things that I forget, and you would think, you know, after doing enough of these cars, but there are so many pieces that go in. And one of the things that we needed, uh, and I'll, and Rod, I'm sorry, I totally spaced it off, but I'll get you the auction over. But we like to put in brand new bolt kits with shims and stuff, and then trying to go and clean and, and, most of the shims sometimes are broke and stuff on these front end clips. So I think the kit, don't quote me, but I want to say like 60 bucks for that bolt kit and it does everything. So um, we'll, I'll be getting you that uh, sent over here to your rod. Like I said, I should have sent it to you with last week's parts and just one of the things I just totally spaced off on. And uh, you, you would think I would have a check off sheet and just, I need to have one probably laminate it and then I can just check it off and when that car is done, you know, wipe it off and uh, keep on going and stuff. But um, yeah, this car is going to be badass. Uh, I mean, we're talking like 530 horse or something out of this monster. And it's got the Hotchkiss race suspension underneath it. And this thing is going to blow tires off uh, when he wants to blow tires off. So I just hope um, that it's streetable. The, the engine builder says it's completely streetable, so I hope so. Um, so we'll see how it comes out. I mean, we're we're kind of salivating a little bit out here and stuff. So, and then um, we've done. I, I'm sure I did a, a a deal on this, but we've got the package tray all in, carpeted with the, uh, the correct carpet and speakers. And right now, Mike uh, has. I am not a stereo guy, so Mike has wired up all the speakers with the amp, and then back up in there, let me zoom in here. There's the AV2000 radio and stuff, but the amp's all been installed, it's all wired, and uh, so that's good. We want to get all this stuff done. It's a process of um, kind of elimination, and but you don't want to get the cart before the horse, otherwise you you run into all kinds of problems. Uh, and how do I know that? Because I've done it. So, but the car, like I said, it'll be coming here into paint pretty soon. We're just, like I said, we're going to get it all wrapped up. And um, probably what will happen is we'll get it painted and start assembling and all that stuff. And then uh, the bumpers will go on. After the bumpers go on, we'll get it down to exhaust. After exhaust, we'll run it over to uh, the alignment shop, get it all aligned, and then off to the upholster shop. And so even though we've got the seats done, uh, we still have to go to the upholster shop to get the headliner and all that stuff. And, um, and it won't be up there very long because um, Terry's already got the seats and stuff done, which is a big time consuming thing. And then I'll come up there one day um, because we got aftermarket door panels for this car and we have to have the caps out of the originals and by the cap the there of course there's door panels are not in here but it's the piece that goes right here the steel that folds down and we got to take those out and they'll get installed into um, the original or the aftermarket door panels and then the reason we want that up there to do this because, well, I can't open this door right now, but there's like little clips and stuff on the side in, along this door, and there's nails, and those door panels go into those clips, and Terry wants to get everything all lined up right. So once he kind of gets everything all set, then I'll just take a day, go up there, mask everything off, dye everything, slash paint, um, and then that way Terry can do the final installation and stuff. So uh, sometimes it's, we have to do it that way, especially on the aftermarket door panels. Uh, if we're using original door panels, that is not something that has to be done. Um, but because obviously the original door panels are going to go right into those uh, spots they need to go into. So 
Uh, so Rod, there, there's what's happening in the Cali. Uh, and if you do have a, uh, uh, an official name for your car, please let me know. Uh, I always forget to ask you, but I always kind of name the cars like I, I always call the uh, England car um, Queenie, you know, the Queen of England. And now it's, it's the British baby. Um, still no word if this car is going to be sold or not after it gets completed. So he's told me just to keep on uh, putting it together and, and everything. So we'll just, we'll find out how that, uh, Steve will let me know and we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, as for this car, like I said, the only thing that Steve has opted out of, which is not a big thing, uh, no pause attraction. And if you're not doing the pause attraction, there's no reason to go with the Hotchkiss in it. So, you know, that saves a lot of money because Hotchkiss is very expensive. But the, the, uh, all brand new bushings and, and the suspension on the rear and springs and shocks and all that stuff uh, has been done. And then he has uh, opted out of doing a weapons box. So if he does sell it and somebody wants it, you know, obviously the car will probably be here. I don't think he's going to send it to... England and then sell it and then somebody in the States tries buying it. But if it, uh, if it goes that route and somebody wants a weapons box in it, I can still install the weapons box. It's just, it's a little bit more difficult because it's painted and stuff. Uh, but I've done them numerous times. I don't like doing them, but I can still put one in. So if somebody is like, Hey, I got to have a weapons box to put my, my props in, you know, I get it. Um, interior, uh, the, is all been dyed and uh, painted and so we will be getting um, this one here all set getting ready to put interior in um, it'll go up to Terry and and that's where it'll go and you know these things are they're a lot of money uh, it's amazing how many people just don't realize how much money goes into a car building it and you know even when I do my own personal stuff. Uh, guys, it's, it's a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot of money uh, just in parts. Uh, I think for Warner Brothers, just in parts or something, I think we were close to like $20,000. Uh, that was our money. And I, I never realized how much, I mean, I knew it was expensive, but when uh, I always have everybody buy parts and just send it to my guy, like, here's a list, buy this, send it to me. And I, when Warner Brothers car, came out of our pocket we had to build it and uh man i was like holy crap this is and that's not even the labor of installing stuff i mean you're just buying the stuff so the days of building cars cheap just it's not going to happen especially on these cars um one time you know we're running into problems stuff being out of stock no longer made uh, you guys remember this car started out 15 years ago for the show so but anyway, guys, that's what's been happening at the shop. We, we just keep on cranking and putting our best foot forward and try to get something done. So I think the last uh, car that I also talked about where Don's Camaro is um, was, uh, let's see who's, Leslie and Lee's uh, Red Impala. And I got the weapons box and all that stuff done. And it's, it is now in Memphis. Um, we got that delivered um, this Monday. I met uh, my good buddy John. He was coming back through a hunting trip, and we got it all taken care of, and it is now sitting in Memphis. So that knocked a car out of here, which was nice. Um, and we're trying to knock out more. Uh, trust me, that's all we want to do. Uh, and then that way we can... Uh, take some more projects on. Uh, I know that um, we kind of like to do some of our own stuff. Um, so I know Don is wanting to do his Camaro. He brought in to do a little bit of work over the weekend. Um, we still have the GTX to do. Um, and then my 32 sitting over here will, you know, everybody's like, when are you going to build that 32? Hey, you know what? I thought I was going to have a uh, Dumb and Dumber mini bike done by now. And, uh, it's still sitting. I have all the pieces for it, just sitting. Um, and, and so really, it's about time. Time, time, time. And when you, 
when you spend all day working on everybody else's cars, sometimes you just don't, ha you don't want to work on yours, you know? And it's, I've, I've said this analogy numerous times, but it's like the cobbler. Everybody in town has shoes except for the cobbler because he's busy making them for everybody else. So, but hopefully we can kind of rearrange some stuff around here in the future and do some other things. So, and then I'm trying to work on some other things, uh, which will be another video here coming up very shortly. So, actually, after I get done with filming with this one. So, anyway, guys, thanks for following. If you have questions, please get a hold of me, and uh, I'll do my best at getting you an answer right away. So, until the next time, you guys be good, and talk to you later. Bye.